Hello all, I am Stocky. I have been newly recruited to manage the content of this channel. So, without wasting much time let's see how much we can go deep into this stock market world. Our today's topic is VSA or Volume Spread Analysis. VSA is one of the important steps of technical analysis. Before diving into it, I would just like to let you know who invented it. So there are three names linked with VSA. One is Jesse Livermore who discussed a theory on market manipulation and implemented the same in his trading journey. Second is Richard Wyckoff who introduced the concept of composite trader having market phases of accumulation, markup, distribution and markdown. Third is Tom Williams who first came out with volume spread analysis term based on the concepts of Richard Wyckoff. Now let's move to our main topic. Breaking VSA would give you two parts. First is volume and second is spread. So volume is an amount of shares of a particular stock being traded at a given time. For example, suppose 10,000 shares of an ABC stock are bought and sold in a day, that is known as the volume. If the volume drops to 7,000 the next day, we can say the volume has decreased. This is how volumes look like for a particular stock on daily basis. Spread on the other hand would be defined as the difference between two things. So we define it as the difference between opening and closing price of the candlestick. If the same ABC stock has a bid or buying price of $100 and the ask or selling price of $110 the spread would be $10. This is what we would call a spread. So VSA focuses on quantity of volume per candle, the range spread and the closing price. I will not go in depth on Wyckoff's theory for VSA since you will get many videos and PDFs on VSA or VPA that is volume price analysis for theoretical part. But here let me summarize it to only practical part. Many traders and investors always have a question that we know what is VSA but how to use it in practice. Practically you just need two simple VSA trading strategies that has high probability. First is no demand on up bars and the second is no supply on down bars. The good thing here is that they both work in any time frame whether for intraday or swing trading but it is always a good idea to analyze in multiple time frames for verification. Remember you can use VSA as a tool with your own strategy. No tool is perfect independently. It will help you make your decision more precise. Let's see the first case. No demand on up bars. It means that there are insufficient buyers to push the market up. In this case you would get a short selling opportunity if closing price is higher than opening price for only the current bar and if volume is weaker than the past two days on average. Let's see an example on this. I prefer to use daily time frame for better understanding. Here you can see our both conditions are satisfied. That is closing price is higher than opening price and volume is weaker than past two days for current candle. So we have short selling opportunity. This stock finally had fallen from 200 to value of 66. Now the second case which is just the opposite of the first case. No supply on down bars. It means that there are insufficient sellers to pull the market down. In this case you would get a long buying opportunity if the spread is very narrow that is the difference between closing and opening price of a candle is small. And if volume of the same candle is weaker than the past two days, this indicates exhaustion of sellers or low selling pressure giving an opportunity for buying. Now let's see an example for this case. Here you can see our both conditions are satisfied. That is spread is narrow and volume is weaker than past two days for current candle. So we have long buying opportunity. This stock finally had gone from 480 to value of around 620. So that's it. You can apply VSA through this easiest method by following this. It is surely not that complicated as said. But for those who are still interested in theoretical part of VSA, for them I would recommend a book by Anna Cooling. It is mentioned in the description as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Till then keep learning.